guys today I'm gonna to be doing my 2014 bookish and booktube resolutions I've seen a lot of these videos recently and I've loved watching them I've gotten a lot of inspiration from other people on what their resolutions for their YouTube channels are and what they want to accomplish with the reading for this year and I've been really inspired for 2014 to take as much advantage of the year for reading as possible just because I lost a lot of time last year and I've really gotten back into reading in this past year so I'm excited and I wanted to share them with you all so what I'm gonna do is talk about my bookish and booktube ones but I'm not going to talk about specific books or series or anything like that um, just for the sake of time. So if you guys would be interested in some of my main or top priority books on my to be read list, then let me know below in a comment and I will be happy to film that and share with you guys some of my most anticipated reads or things that I want to accomplish for this year. So first I'm just going to start with bookish resolutions and kind of my goals for my own personal reading and things like that. The first one is an easy one and that is hopefully I will read 50 books this year. I think for 2013 I read around 30 to 35 which I feel like is pretty low for me especially because I I got started late. I did start reading more in May ish, and so I lost the first couple months of the year. I reread a lot of books too, so. Um, more along that line, I also want to try to focus on reading a lot more new books this year and not read as many repeats just because there are so many books out there that I have not read yet that I want to read and get done that I feel like I'm losing precious time by rereading a lot. Um, although I can guarantee you I will reread a Harry Potter book this year at some point because I didn't get to finish rereading them last year. So that will probably happen sooner than later. But um, I think I can easily accomplish 50 books and I think that hopefully I'll be able to read a lot of new books. I have a lot of series I want to tackle. A big goal of mine for this year and even for the first half of the year is to try to tackle a lot of series that I haven't read. Believe it or not, there are probably 5 to 10 very popular and very loved series that I have not read yet that you guys would probably be really upset about if I told you every single one. So uh, I'm excited though because a couple of them are finishing up. Up this year um, as far as the final books being released that will be really easy for me to hopefully get through and to kind of um, get my hands on so I'm excited for those but that's a main goal of mine is to read a lot of these series. Next thing I have is to figure out a better bookshelf system. I am currently like running out of shelf space for my room and for my books especially because booktube is like an enabler for buying books and increasing your bookshelves um so i really need to buy a new bookshelf to go on the other end i have like furniture that matches my bedroom furniture and i have like a half dresser right now that has like a top three shelf part and then the bottom is drawers and then I have another one that is technically a whole bookshelf but I have a TV on it right now and then the bottom half I use for stores for other things so I really only have five shelves that I use for books technically four because one of them has movies so I'm like packed to the max and I'm gonna hopefully in the next couple of months buy another bookshelf that just can go on the other side that probably won't match but just something that I can use to hold me over um, for the time being so hopefully once that happens I'll be able to share with you guys what they look like but I will talk about that a little bit more um, in a moment we'll also get more involved with Goodreads and I feel like I have Goodreads I get on there every day every two days and I you know accept people's friend requests I rate my books I record what I'm reading um, usually in I do all of that but I feel like other than that I really don't utilize what Goodreads has to offer. I know they do giveaways and there's a bunch of groups on there and things like that and I just have not really taken the time to investigate and to kind of explore the website enough to really get involved and I know that they say it can be a really great site to use for whatever I don't know because I'm not doing it now um, but I want to get more involved I've been trying this year to put a little small paragraph of a review or just kind of my thoughts when I finish a book so um, I'm gonna hopefully try to do that once I finish reading it and then I've also figured out how to change my shelf on my profile page to be the books that I'm reading for this year so if you guys are curious in what I've read this year what I'm reading um, if you go to my profile it shows the little box of the shelf and you'll see that the one that says 2014 reads then that will let you know what I'm reading for this year so I think that, that was really cool I figured out how to change that and that's kind of exciting for me to keep up with what I'm reading and stuff um, especially for the end of the year but um, other than that 
let me know what you guys use Goodreads for, what your favorite thing is, because I just, I'm out of the loop and I don't know. I have a couple of booktube ones that I wanted to talk about. And the first one is, of course, the generic, I'd like to make my videos better. Um, I think there's always room for improvement with anything, especially on YouTube videos, because um, most of us are not pro editors, and as much as I would like to be, there's probably a lot more that I could do with my videos to make them more fun and entertaining. So I'd like to explore a little bit more with that this year. It's just hard sometimes because when you are busy and you're uploading videos and you try to edit them, there's not a lot of time to be creative with them, at least in my case because I work and go to school and do stuff all the time that I don't sit at home and film all day, but I want to try to get better this year. Year. Um, eventually I would like to invest in Final Cut Pro although I'm not sure I'm ready to do that yet and spend the $300 on that but one day in the future um, especially if I keep you know making videos in the long run which I don't predict I won't but one day I would like to invest that but I want to make my videos better um, I also want to try to be a little bit more consistent because I've done a pretty decent job of uploading and at least being active on booktube this year since I started I don't think that there's been a time when I've really been absent, although I know that there has been a couple of instances where I haven't uploaded a new video in a couple of weeks, and so I feel bad about that. I just don't, I don't like doing that. Um, so I want to try to be more consistent. Um, ideally, I would like to do every other day a new upload. I know some people do it every day, which I commend you for, but even in the summertime, that is just not possible for me, um, unless I pre-recorded a bunch of videos, which I feel like can get a little boring. So. Um, I hopefully will be more consistent this year and keep up with what everybody else is talking about and kind of, you know, following the tags on time and things like that. I want to do better reviews. I think that my reviews are some of my worst videos on here. I just, I feel like I get kind of tongue-tied with reviews. I don't really know what to mention that's beneficial to you all and I feel like I'd like to do reviews in the aspect that I think it'll be really helpful for people to kind of refer back to them hopefully one day and I also want to have this you know kind of diary of reviews that's partially why my YouTube name is the book diary so I can have all of these reviews on books that I like and if you guys ever need to know about one in the future that I've read you can come to my channel and hopefully see it but I just feel like I need to work on what I say maybe I need to make like a checklist of things to include um, for reviews but I just feel like I would like to work on those and make those a little bit better. I want to do some giveaways this year and I was going to try to figure out how to do some last year and I just did not. Um, I you know haven't quite figured out what I wanted to do one for or if I just wanted to do a random one or one for a subscriber count or things like that so I have an idea of what I might start doing in January although um, I'm not for sure, but I think it would be really fun to do throughout the year. And then, of course, just some sporadic random ones. I think it's fun to do some to celebrate subscribers, too. But I have a little bit of a dilemma with giveaways because I hate the thought of just doing one for the sake of, oh, there's more people that are going to subscribe to me. Like, I'm almost fearful of that because I would rather you know, have you guys that are going to watch be subscribed versus, you know, a big number of subscribers where people aren't interacting. Um, although I do want to give back to you all. So um, I guess that's the point of that. I don't want to give away to somebody that, you know, just subscribed to win. I'd rather give to one of you all. The other one is a bookshelf tour, which I kind of touched on a few minutes ago. But if I can get my shelves all ready to go, I would like to share my bookshelf tour with you all. I've had a lot of requests to do so, and I thought about even doing it as it is now. But I also feel that it's just not how I want it to be. I also feel like I need to get a couple more series on the shelf before I do that. But maybe I'll do one before just so you guys can kind of see where I started off. And then if I do one in the next few years, it, it might be interesting to look back and see kind of where my channel started. But I just feel like the way that books are bought and the way that things change so quickly, you know, it's always getting an update. So I'm just waiting to do the best version. Okay, I only have a couple more. So the next one I would love to do would be to really incorporate some more book to movie adaptations on my channel this year. I am a huge movie buff, as you guys know. So I love watching movies and I know that there are a lot of really cool movies coming out this year that were from a book or a series. So I think it would be really cool to do some more book to movie adaptations and some more movie reviews and things like that because I love film and cinema. That's definitely one of my favorite things. So I would like to do some more of those. And then the last thing that I wrote down on here, I kind of just came up with a little bit um, randomly, and that is some more maybe creative or theme-based book videos. I think it'd be fun to do related books or do um, a video where I share my favorite books to read over the summer, my top favorites. 
just those kind of things. I think it'd be more fun for me to do. I know a lot of other people do that, and I know some people do different themes for every month of what they're going to read, but I think it would just be fun to share some more kind of new creative things with this channel. I hope you guys um, are excited for 2014 like I am as well, and of course, if you ever have any requests or ideas or things that you would like to see me do or tags or just anything, any specific video or any different types of videos, always feel free to leave comments on any video or to tweet me on Twitter or send me a message on here on YouTube or um, Google Plus now or whatever it is. I'd love to know and hear your all's thoughts and of course I'm always looking to do things that I think you all will like. So um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. So I think that this is all for today. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!